Previously on Nerd Punches Nerd. Aronofsky would love to get his hands on like a scene, like the scene where where Neo wakes up in you yeah. know at, yeah. in the real world, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, and in you that, would you in would see the things tearing his flesh as they like, like, it would be the whole like, movie. Like, yeah, the whole movie would be like him trying to get out of the pod. In a pod. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome to Nerd Punches Nerd, the only podcast where a bunch of nerds pretend to physically fight over minor pop culture minutia. I'm Jeremy, here with Benji and Sam, and uh, let me just say, uh, happy anniversary, happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. Happy nerd year. Yeah. Oh, what a pun, a pun to remember. That's nice. Right. Happy, happy nerd year. Happy nerd year, uh, Benji and Sam. Indeed. Happy Nerd Year to you. That's right. It has been an entire year since our very first podcast released. (laughs) (laughs) Because we did have a couple test podcasts just to try it out. uh, Don't tell anyone about that. They're um, mysteriously lost in a fire. (laughs) Especially the Lost Podcast. Well, the, well, the Lost the Podcast Lost, was number two, actually. The Lost Podcast is That's why we, we don't have a podcast number two. <laughs> we had a... Yeah, well, you go straight from one to three, because we lost the second one. Yeah, yeah. we really did lose that one, unfortunately. But, it, technically, I, I have the some of the audio, but it's, it's useless. Anyway, <laughs> today's topic is going to be basically like last year's topic, which is going to be nerdiest movies of the year, that being... 2013. But before we do that, I'd say let's go around the room and we're going to pick <laughs> our nerdiest movie of 2014. <laughs> That's right. Before it has actually come out, we have a nice list of all the planned releases for 2014. And so that way, we've each gotten a chance to peruse the list and make a decision for ourselves. <laughs> Um, is it so? Should we be saying the nerdiest one, or what we think are the best nerdy movies of 2014? There should be a uh, distinction. Not the best, nerdiest. Like nerdiest. last year, remember we did the same thing. Okay. Where we okay. called The Hobbit the nerdiest movie of 2012, not necessarily the best. In fact, I would definitely say it wasn't the best of the nerdy films because I like The Avengers more. Just for example. But okay. each of us has come up with at least one. And to go around the room, I say, let's pick, okay, I'd like to pick who has the longest first name to who has the shortest first name. Okay, so I'm the first, I guess, right? Because my name is is Benja Ferdstein. Oh, that's right. I pulled pulled in. Um, Most, Most people don't know that. Yeah, yeah. I keep it quite hidden. I don't want people to know my Jewish identity. So I uh, think <laughs> that means that I would be number two, and that Sam yes, yes. would be... New no, are we, we're not... Samuel? Is your full name not Samuel? My my full name is Samuel, but I'm still the shortest. <laughs> well, then, aren't I... Are right, you sure so, the chair? Yeah, so Benj, go ahead. Okay. Um. So we're just picking one? Yeah, what is your... What is? What do you X-Men. think? X-Men. Oh, so X-Men Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. Okay. Why do you think that's going to be the nerdiest of 2014? Um, it's because it's the one that I want to see the most. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a, I, it comic book. It's been, it's, it's got sort of this interesting. It's just a, it's, I mean, it's a comic book film. It's been it, it reinvented in a number of different veins. There's some good, um, I don't want to say fan service, but, but some cool, I guess, sort of fan servicey stuff with, uh, with the fact that they're going to have Patrick Stewart and they're also going to have James McAvoy and just all that stuff going on. They're, they're trying to, I think, sort of connect it to other X-Men that were before the horrible one, which I could be wrong about. I think they'll probably have some fan service in there. Yeah. But I guess it, we're not quite sure how much at this point. Yeah. Oh, and they've done such an excellent job. Here's the other part about it. They, they've done that really cool ad campaign when they started with Trask Enterprises, like like that, that fake website. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, for Trask Enterprises, and it had Peter Dinklage. Dr. Trask, you know. Right, right. Okay. All right, well, that's a good choice. All right. So, I'm Jeremy, and my number one nerdiest movie of 2014 is not The Hobbit Part 3, but oh. it's it's instead it's called Knights of Badassdom. 
Ninth of Bad Ass Tom is about three best friends, one of whom is played by Peter Dinklage, who you just mentioned, who are three LARPers, the live action role players, and they basically get involved with the succubus, who is played by Summer Glau. And I'm not sure how you can get any nerdier than that. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. In fact, you you stole my answers. I was actually going to say exactly the same thing that um, you know, not not I was not going to pick the Hobbit. I was going to pick Knights of Bad Aston. Oh, so sorry. Um, right. Instead, my, hello, my name is Sam, and I will choose <laughs> as the nerdiest movie of 2014 uh, a Dark Horse candidate, Guardians of the Galaxy. I was thinking about that, but I said nice, no. nice. I I considered some of the others that you mentioned. Uh, you know, X Men. I considered and Spider Man, but those are pretty mainstream, and they're not really even so nerdy anymore. Ninja Turtles. You know, Captain is also coming America, out, but that's Spider-Man, you know, yeah. On. But there's there's a lot of movies. Even that, but those really. are, but but Guardians of the Galaxy, that's that's obscure. That's like you know, Marvel's reaching deep into their uh, you know, into their roster to come up with this movie that it's it's got like a space raccoon and you a know, space tree, a space tree, awesome. and like that's you know, with the voice of Vin Diesel. And that's he, right. And he only says, "I am Groot" in various different ways. Really? Well, and I that, actually, I don't even know that much about it, so I can't even verify whether that's true That's all true he says. Everything he says is, I am Groot, but he might say it, like, angry or sad or happy, and it's played by Vin Diesel. And the but, raccoon is played uh, by Bradley Cooper. The raccoon and is played by Bradley Cooper, apparently. He is, uh, um, his main power, anyway. other than being able to talk, is that he has really, really big guns. Yes. Right. Yeah. So that's so that's that's my dark horse <laughs> candidate for uh, potential. That's a good one nerdiest movie of, of 2014. I think I mean, we had a pretty good selection right there. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of kind of things you could fall into it. I mean, obviously you got the big ones like Captain America, Spider-Man, Godzilla, you know, Hobbit, obviously. Those are all going to My My super, well. super secret Dark Horse candidate was actually going to be The Giver. Um, the Giver? Yeah. I didn't see that. The I don't Giver. know if you guys remember that um, no, uh, I know. Oh, Newbery award-winning book that we all read as children. Oh, but, that's, uh, that's a really good book. Yeah, but that's that's I I I I call it nerdy just because it's got like a lot of nostalgic value for people our age. Yeah, uh, and it it yeah, actually yeah. kind of um I think it's an early example of the kind of um you know YA fiction that you see nowadays because it was like a YA book that was about this sort of like you know future society that was repressive, it was kind of a dystopia, um you know that. That that's like every YA book is like that now, but uh, but The Giver was an early example, so so like, kind of nerdy in that way. Right. All right. Well, so if you had picked Knights of Bad Aston before I did, Sam, yeah. what I would have done is pick Noah, the new Darren Aronofsky film that's a adaptation of a biblical story of Noah. Yeah, I I thought about picking that one too, but I don't I don't consider. I mean, it's nerdy for. I guess for like Bible nerds and religion nerds. <laughs> well, there you go. And Aronofsky fans. <laughs> yeah, and Aronofsky fans. And Aronofsky fans. nerds. So that's me. Yeah. And yeah. Me. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. So let's get started. I have sent you guys a list of the movies released in theaters in 2013. And basically, I want to just go through them. We can skip anything that none of us have heard of or seen. But anything that someone's actually seen, we'll bring up. Okay. Okay. Or at least you know about. Okay. So do you have the list? I'm looking at it right now. All right. So let's get started. I have to say, of the four movies that were released on January 4th, I have never heard of three of them. Oh, you actually know of any of them? Well, one of them is Texas Chainsaw 3D. So that I've heard of. I think we can discount that immediately because of how terrible it is. And let's move on to Gangster Squad, a movie that was pushed back because it was supposed to be released pretty soon after The Dark Knight Rises came out. But because of the shooting, they decided they needed to reshoot it to become less violent because apparently there was a scene in the original cut that involved a bunch of people getting shot in a movie theater. Oh, so I haven't seen the movie, but even though it has Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling reuniting, apparently it's not good. Is I that the one with, with Sean Penn? 
where Sean Penn plays this Jewish gangster. That's right. That's right. I remember, yeah, I remember seeing commercials for it. Yeah, so I think we can move on from there. Okay. Now, here's something that you could theoretically say is maybe is nerdy. It was called The Last Stand. And what, it what Arnold... month are you in again? We're still in January. Okay. It was called The Last Stand, and it starred Arnold Schwarzenegger and Johnny Knoxville. And it was basically about him being a small-town sheriff in New Mexico and near the border and basically having to defend against a bunch of, I guess, terrorists or drug cartel types. Anyway, so it's interesting because, you know, there's a little bit of that nostalgia factor there with Schwarzenegger. I mean, the movie was was okay, I guess. It was pretty forgettable. In the end, it wasn't as good as a lot of other, you know, Schwarzenegger-type stuff. You know, especially some of his cheesy things, which is what it was. It was a cheesy movie. And there were some kind of fun moments. But I feel like, unless you're like a real diehard Schwarzenegger fan, I don't think you're going to be like interested in that. So I think we can say that as of January 18th, that was the nerdiest movie of the year, but I think it will quickly be dethroned. Yeah, definitely. All right, so let's move on to Hansel and Gretel. Uh. And, you know, if this was based off of something like really nerdy. I think you could almost call it that, but considering, well, you know, it isn't, I think we're going to have to discount it's, that one as well. I think it's nerdier than uh, the Schwarzenegger movie. Yeah. yeah I guess cause, cause you're saying, cause yeah, it's a, it uh, an, an, like a non-nursery tale, uh, a fable yeah, or yeah. whatever. Sure. Sure. Yeah. 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 Like the and they, they tried to, you know, make it actiony and whatever or they, they did. It just looked really dumb. Like something I didn't want to see at all. Like, <laughs> not, not that I have an opinion about it or anything. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, and Jeremy Jeremy Renner is really is really good, so I, I give okay. him that. So. Be, before we move on to the next week, because um, I assume we're going to skip the rest of the movies this week. Oh no, um, no, no. There's there's at least one I want to bring up. Okay. Which one is it? John dies at the end. Ah, good. That's the one I wanted you to bring up. Excellent. So let's talk about that. Thank you.